whoever the fuck be saying like weight loss surgery is the easy way out and it's easy man y'all like this shit hard as fuck this is one of the hardest things i ever did <laughs> girl ebony elbow i am one week and one day post op i meant to record um yesterday but i got busy but i wanted to give y'all an update do i look slim my face looks slim hmm. yeah i feel like it damn i got this one piece of hair that won't sit down anyway i know what everybody came here for the stats so without further ado let me get y'all the stats hold on because i wrote it down because i ain't want to lie i don't want to forget okay so my highest weight and nobody don't believe me, but I don't know why. But my highest weight when I first started this journey, it was a little over 90 days before I had my surgery. Um, It was 282 pounds. When I went to my class, my seminar, they weighed me, I was 282 pounds. 282. That's almost 300 motherfucking pounds. Okay. And before I went to surgery, I had lost 10 pounds, but I gained a little bit back. But I still end up losing a little bit before surgery. So with the surgery... They made me think that you had to lose 10 pounds, but it wasn't you had to lose 10. They just tell you that so that your surgery is for sure to be approved. But you either can lose or stay the same. You can't gain. So before I went to surgery, I was 274. Today, I am 259 point, wait, 259.1. Yeah, 259.1. So, I saw 259.1 or 259. I don't know. But I lost 14.9 pounds. And I'm going to put the stats here so y'all can see. 14.9 pounds in one week and 22 pounds since I started. 22 pounds since I started. And 14.9 pounds in one week. Y'all, like, that's crazy. Like, you know how long it's been taking me to lose 14 pounds? Like, what the hell? 259? Yeah. So, I'm expecting this week, I want to get out of the 50s this week. I want to at least be like 249. So, let me just tell y'all, this shit ain't been easy. It's hard. So, when I came out of surgery, when I woke up, I was in a lot of pain. A lot. It was very, very painful. Um, But, oh, excuse me. They gave me the man. And then you had like this gas stuff. Mm, but... They gave me the meds and I, you know, I was able to control my pain with the meds and my nurses, they were really good about giving me my medicine so that I didn't feel the pain. Like it would, before it came on, they would get, Hey, they was on point giving me my medicine. Um, I ended up staying in the hospital two days instead of one because I was having heart issues. My heart, I had tachycardia, which is me. Your heart is beating really, really fast. Um, my heart was beating fast and they said it probably was due to like the pain, um, the pain level, anxiety, in the surgery so they got that under control they were very 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 good about it they were on it like i had a cat scan x-ray uh echocardiogram like they were on it um the pill that you put under your tongue they gave me a shot they kept giving me um blood thinners heparin shots so you know they they were on it they were really really good um so i went home wednesday last wednesday the day before thanksgiving so you go home on clear liquids the first week, nothing but clear liquids. So that was hard. The day before Thanksgiving and I went to my mom's house and they had all this food and oh my God, it was so hard. So those first few days in the hospital, I went hungry. I was not hungry. A bitch starting to get hungry. Like I ain't gonna lie, I ain't gonna be one of the people. No, I'm not. Bitch, I'm hungry. I'm hungry as fuck. I want to eat. So I'm hungry, but I'm sticking to it because. I did cheat, y'all, and mm, I cheated, and I got sick as hell, but I'll tell y'all about that. But, um, so I was doing, like, chicken broth, jello. The chicken broth goes down easy. I don't know if anybody else had the surgery. Let me know in the comments. It hurts. Like, when I swallow, it, like, water. I love water, and when I swallow, it hurts. It, it's, like, right here. It, it, it just hurt. I don't know. Um, and then you, when you swallow and like a few seconds later you get like these stomach pains it's getting better i noticed but i don't know if that's like normal or how long that's gonna last 
but it i do have like pains even with water like with chicken broth i guess because i'm sipping it off a spoon it's not that bad um but with water it hurts and y'all it take me like over an hour to finish a water bottle so i have been like very dehydrated and that's like one of the things that they want you to look out for because I can't even drink a water bottle like I used to. Like, I used to could go down. If I was really, really thirsty, I could go, go down an eight-ounce water bottle without stopping. Now, I could only take, like, a sip or so, and I have to stop. Like, it take me forever to finish a water bottle. So, I get, I be, like, bumpy. And I don't drink. And I don't be eating. I try to eat because I need protein. But I really don't eat that much, and I don't drink that much. And I'm trying to get more water intake because I was very hydrated. I thought, dehydrated. I thought I was going to have to go to the hospital. I was just that dehydrated. So that's one of the, like, that's one of the bad things. Like, you got to stay on top of your water intake. Like, today, I'm, like, pacing myself and making sure when I got up, I drank some water. And then you can't eat. Like, you cannot eat and drink at the same time. So you have to, like plan your day out you have to so i get up drink water then i have to wait 30 minutes before i can eat something so i'm trying to make sure i eat breakfast lunch and dinner i don't even care if it's like two ounces of chicken broth or jello or something i'm trying to eat so this week now i can incorporate soups low fat soups um so if they have like anything in them you have to strain them um so i'm doing like tomato basil um broccoli cheddar and it's both they're fat free um i was able to incorporate sugar free pudding um, so I did the vanilla and the chocolate and I'm just doing, um, the chicken broth still and what else? That's basically it. So when I cheated y'all, I love red velvet cake. Red velvet cake is my weakness. So I caught myself putting it in my mouth, chewing it and spitting it out. Well, apparently some the sugars got in my stomach. I don't know if I missed the swaddle a little bit. I thought I spit it out. I, I was sick as a dog. So if you have any surgery... Or you had it and you think about cheating, save yourself the pain and agony because I was sick as a dog. My stomach was killing me. I wanted to die. And because it's too soon, my stomach is like a baby's stomach. Like, you know how you can't just get no newborn baby, no cake. They're going to be sick. So I was the same way. So don't rush it, y'all. Like, I know it get hard and you're going to want to cheat. You, It's a mind thing. You got to physically stay strong. So when a lot of people be like, oh, weight loss surgery is the easy way out, or you know, you ain't do it the you ain't do it the right way. This shit hard. You know how many times I laid in my bed and I was like, oh my God, I wish I would just lost the weight on my own. I don't feel like that now, but you would have your moments where you just feel like, I wish I would have just lost the weight on my own because it gets really, really hard. Really, really hard. But you have to like prepare yourself mentally. You know, you know what the end goal is. You know why why you did it. Remember why you did it, and you got to stay strong. And I'm I'm back on track. Like today, I'm back on track. Um, I'm focused. I remember why I did it. I'm excited. I'm more excited than anything. Like, and I'm gonna insert a picture because I can see the difference in my face. Like I can see the difference in my body. And I know, like after this, I'm gonna have to get my boobs done or something because with me losing 22 pounds, I don't know. They just kind of, I don't know. I want to go to the gym. Like, I want to tone so I don't get saggy, but I can't go to the gym yet. So, I guess I'm going to look on YouTube and, like, figure out some exercises I could do in a chair or, like, in a bed or something. Something. I am, like, I have a dumbbell that I just got today, and it's, like, 5 pounds because I can't lift over 10 pounds. And I messed up with that, too. My baby, he, like, 50 pounds. No, I'm just kidding. But he a big baby, and he be coming up to me, and he be want me to pick him up, and he don't know no better. He be crying, and I got weak a couple times, and I picked him up, and I did um made one of the incisions the one on my belly button which is the one that, that was my biggest incision all my other ones have closed they're completely healed i have four but the one on my belly button was the biggest one because that's the one that he took actually took my stomach out of i did like i guess burst that open a little bit and it was bleeding and leaking fluid but i've been keeping it dry and clean and it's starting to heal um i'm drinking a lot of protein um i started some shakes now i can't have protein shakes also because protein helps you heal faster too. So, um, and then I don't want my, I already ain't got no damn edges. Like, I don't want my hair to start falling out and stuff. I ordered my vitamins off of Amazon, my bare chip vitamins. Um, and I'm just trying to like take it day by day, but it is so exciting, y'all. Like, it's so, like, my birthday, January 8th, and I can't even wait to see how I look. Like, it's no point in me buying clothes. Like, I'm going through my closet and clearing everything out because I'm never gonna be able to wear that stuff again. I'm never gonna let myself gain this much weight again. 
Um, and but it's no point in me buying clothes because I'm consistently gonna be losing weight like 14 pounds, 14 point nine pounds in one week. Like that's unreal. Like it's so good. Like this is one of the best decisions I've ever made. Yes. It is hard, but it is worth it. It is really, truly worth it. This is one of the best decisions I ever made. I just got to stay focused. Um, I'm excited to see what this week brings, how much weight I'm going to lose this week, especially me incorporate some exercises. I'm excited to see how my body just keep changes. Like everybody keeps telling me, oh my God, I can see it in your face. You look slimmer. I can look in the mirror and see I look slimmer in a week. So... I don't know, y'all. Like, I don't know. I don't know. It's just unreal. But I wanted to come give y'all an update, and I'm going to give y'all updates every week for a while um, and stats and let y'all know how I'm progressing, how much I'm losing. Um, Like I said, if anybody else had a surgery, let me know what y'all going through because I'm trying to understand why. I know, and then the gas. The gas is bad. You can't take gas sex um, if need be. I have been, like, chewing gas sex every now and then. But the gas is kind of bad. But that's something that you can deal with. Um, You can drink crystal light in your water. So that makes it better. I like the crystal light lemonade. It's good. And um, I'm trying to make sure I didn't forget everything. Trying to cover all corners. But I'm sorry I didn't get this video out yesterday. I got it out today. Thank y'all for tuning in. And thank you for all the support. All the texts. All the calls. Like people checked on me when I was in the hospital. Called me. Text me. They have been messaging me. Like we want to see pictures post another video. I'm going to post a full body picture soon. 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 Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. I might tour a little bit this weekend. I got to see how I feel. But I'm just trying to rest. Take it easy because I always overdo it anytime I have a procedure. Oh, and he said that I'm in more pain than a normal person would because you guys know I had the tummy tuck. So I have a lot of scar tissue from the tummy tucks and scar tissue equals pain. So that's why I'm in a lot more pain than your average person. But it's worth it. It is what it is. I won't remember that pain next week, tomorrow, whatever. Like a month from now, it's gonna, it's worth it. Like the pain I had in the hospital, I, I'm forgetting about that. Like it's been worth it. That's all I can say. It's been worth it. Shout out to Dr. Uchul again at St. Vincent's. If you guys have any questions, continue to hit me up, and I'll see y'all next week. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.